Hello everyone, this is Skarzig, and welcome back to another episode of The Darkest Dungeon. Today, we're going to be taking on the Hag. Now, um, this is a medium quest. We do get to camp, and it's a boss fight, of course. The reason we're doing it is because we really don't have anything else better to do, and we do need deeds. This is going to give us a lot of deeds. Um, the Book of Sanity is kind of whatever. It's a trinket. You might sell it. But I figure it's nice to just get this boss fight out of the way, take advantage of the deeds. Um, and we already got a party thrown together. For now, we just got to make sure that they're all fully upgraded, fully outfitted, and uh, trinketed up. Look at that. Whew. This is, a, this is a lot of money going down the tubes here to upgrade these, uh, these heroes. But that's okay. We've uh, we've have been spending our money a lot. Um, we we had a pretty sizable, um, I would say, war chest built up, and uh, we've we've been really just been making sure our party is outfitted because I'm not trying to get people to die here. Um, but at any rate, we're gonna bring Athena uh, just because we have just the damage along with Iron Swan to reach the back line. We've also got a nice bleed. And a uh, barbaric yob, which is a stun, um, which could come in handy. I might, I might teach her breakthrough. Actually, it might be better because if we're going to a boss fight, it's kind of whatever at that point. Um, we do need to make sure our skills are upgraded. So I think this is a good time to teach her breakthrough. Upgrade that. I do need to be careful though, uh, because we are running pretty low. Um, hmm. We're running pretty low on money, so we do want to make sure that we we're only upgrading the like the bare minimum. We'll get the heals there, and we'll probably end up selling some trinkets soon because I have a ton, right? But it's like a few of them I don't use, like the heads. I'm sure sell for quite a lot. Yeah, two thousand gold. So I mean, we can really get away with uh, selling a few of these. But the hag counts as a human enemy, I think. Hmm. So I think we can get away with uh, the bloodthirst ring. It uh, gives a little an extra max HP, minus twenty five percent healing received. But then we have Eliza the Cruel to kind of balance that out. Hmm. What do we got here? Something for damage. Something for damage. Oh, oh. Unequip all trinkets. There. Now we can uh, do Brawler's Gloves if in position 1. The Sun Ring will come in handy. Plus 15% damage. Uh, which we will give to Snake Eyes. Um, we could potentially give Snake Eyes the Brawler's Gloves. So he gets a really, really strong Duelist Advance. And... Um, really really strong point blank shot but i think because point blank shot can only hit uh, rank one that's not going to be as useful better to have uh, the damage spread out a little more with uh, the iron swan and whatnot hmm. so we'll go sun ring there and plus 10 percent damage melee skills we'll just plop that on hmm berserk charm extra speed minus accuracy is that worth? Because I think I ran this once. But. Hmm. Plus 25% damage, but extra stress. Might be good to put that on Eliza, right? Just because uh, we can just get some really, really strong damage in off of our uh, backline shooter. It'll be interesting to run this head and see how it works out overall. At the, it, at the end of the day, if she gets too stressed out or something, maybe I can just unequip it. We do get to camp, which is important. Uh, let's see. Feather crystal could be good. Extra dodge, extra speed. And Velka. Do we want to give you anything? Hmm. We could actually give Eliza the Book of Sanity to even out that stress from the head. And then we give Velka the uh, Feather Crystal. That sounds good. 
Let me see, we've got our stun, judgment, our two heals ready to go. Eliza's got... Sniper's Mark could be good, because Snake Eyes has a uh, pistol shot, which does extra damage versus marked. So we probably keep Sniper's Mark. Always nice. Suppressing Fire is uh, actually pretty decent as well. No, excuse me, it's Blind Fire. Uh, hitting a random target allows um, Eliza to just hit uh, the front row, like rank 1. That probably won't matter too, too much. And we'll put on Breakthrough before I forget. Snake Eyes has the good old tried and true kit. Everybody else is in um, status treatment. We're down to 5,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have just enough to provision for this run, I think. Take a bunch of food. Um, none of our people have the Crimson Curse. So we don't need to take the blood. Uh, we'll take that. We'll also take medicinal herbs. Now we're taking a bunch of food just because we want to make sure we're as healthy as possible for the boss. Medicinal herbs will allow us to check the carcass for uh, food if we run into that particular curio. And we're going to be healing at the campfire. So maybe we don't need that much food because we do have um, a healer and Eliza counts as an off healer. So we would only need uh, extra food if things go catastrophically wrong. So if we save this purely for hunger... I mean, we should be good. Hunger and camping? We should be good. We should be good. And then if we run into that curio, we'll be fine on that front. So let's get some torches. Now we'll take 10. And we are trying to save our money. So I think we are going to uh, chill on the skeleton keys. We'll bring a holy water for good luck. And let's embark to take on the hag. impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect and together we began to plant harvest and brew mm. so the ancestor was caught up in all kinds of bullshit wild corruption here it bears a form of wretched and malevolent the scout is good um i think the hag usually the bosses are always down in the bottom right corner so, I guess, hmm, we can, we can go this way, just circuit around, because we do need treasure, right? We do need treasure. So it is important that we do go adventuring somewhat, rather than cutting straight to the boss. I do like that they give you the option, which is important. Ooh, deeds, perfect. That's what we're here for. And we're going to try to salvage torches. It doesn't look like it's that big of a of an area so i think we, we can get away with uh with using torches after all Ooh, more deeds thank you now we need deeds 70 90 60 50 all right so it's up to snake eyes oh 10 percent 10 percent rip try again man you can do this okay there we go but at any rate Wow. Took some damage from that blight. But I think it's, uh... Kind of already running low on torches. But we scouted, so... Low chance that we're actually going to run into enemies all the way out here, right? And I think we can take them on. Spider webs we leave alone. We do want to make sure that we, um... Because we're probably just going to camp in the room right before the hag. Like, right here. So, we'll be, like, fully outfitted in terms of, like, camping buffs, that sort of thing, to go into the fight. Yep, and there's the food curio, so we'll use the medicinal herbs on that. I need to, that's what I need to get back to doing, is being um, a bit more frugal with my runs, because I was uh, really living the high life there for a while, and now that you know, the cost of upgrading your heroes and their abilities and getting them stress treated all scales exponentially. Yeah, so we just did like a whole circuit. Um, we can use bandages on the tree. We get free bandages from bringing Eliza. So we can use the bandages on the tree. Oops. 
It's the wrong curio. I guess it's the spider web one. Where you like wrap your hands in the bandages and it allows you it protects your hands while you search. At least that's the gist of it. Yeah, so we're down to five torches. Um, there is a battle room here, so we just did this whole circuit for pretty much nothing. So I guess this was the boss fight of go directly to the boss. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. And we found more blood, which will come in handy. Because um if you'll recall, we have two cursed heroes right now. Oh man, new enemy. Blighted Giant and Tenacious Crone. Um, this is something that they added with the recent um, Radiant update um, where new enemies appear in the level 3 dungeons. So right off the bat, oh my god, he has 102 HP. Jesus Christ. What does Tenacious Crone do? I have a feeling she's probably like the buff caster and all that. Curse of Vulnerability. Yep. Debuff, minus accuracy and dodge. Okay, so we are going to... Well, she already went, so Dazzling Light isn't going to matter. I think... Yeah, Judgment does higher base damage, so we're going to try to... Ah, oh, we missed. Just going to try to take her out just because. Um, And we can't... Oh, man. We're going to... Mm, I guess it's better to just shoot her. And we'll start working on this fatty here. Confusion spores. Oh, we dodged it. That was probably going to be something nasty. Now, Snake Eyes goes first. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open vein on the Blighted Giant. And that way, we'll kill this dog. The, the Giant comes to rank 1. And then we can hit it with, um, what's the name? Point blank shot. So we'll take this opportunity just to um, Divine Comfort on the party actually yeah we'll we'll divine comfort because this fight's gonna last a couple more rotations and that means that divine comfort will have more healing overall so we will I guess sniper shot it's good too because the giant takes up two ranks so sniper shot will still hit him if he keeps dotting us that's fine he probably has some kind of really nasty attack. What's your stun resist, bud? 70? Um, not worth. I think we just keep healing. Counteract the, uh, the bleed and all that. So now we get to point blank shot. Nice burst of damage there. 23. Um, he's gonna be bleeding for another two rounds. Is it better to sniper... No, no. We'll just sniper shot him. Just keep the damage up. Nice. All right, what's your next move? Tree Branch Smackdown. 20 damage. And it knocks her back. That's fine, because we get to point blank shot again. Punk. Huh, so that wasn't that bad. Um, we will have more opportunities to heal. We did not bring a skeleton key, so we get the, uh, the trap version and no treasure. Uh, so be it. So be it. So anyway, we can use the bandages. Oh wait, no, we waste them. Never mind, we wasted them. No bandages for us. I'm not gonna risk uh, just searching that for no reason. So we're gonna be moving back to our original position here with uh, five more torches and campfire logs. So by running in low light like this when we're just backtracking allows us to save torch light. Um, it is important that if your torch runs all the way out, you will uh, get a chance of just getting ambushed regardless of if enemies are showing on the map, if you scouted already, that sort of thing. I think that if you are backtracking, uh, enemies will show up just in general. It's a low chance. Glad I brought all these damn shovels. But it's partially my fault for going all the way out of the way for pretty much no treasure. But the point of this is to get treasure from the boss, right? Not to get uh, battle room or treasure. Oh, God. Hmm. We should... We'll use one torch just so that this fight isn't terrible. And hopefully we can get some healing rotations off here. Towering ectoplasm. All right, so first things first. Um, we can just... 
Divine Grace to get a burst heal. Ooh, the crit. We're back in it. That that opens up a lot of tempo for us. Now, the question is, do we start punching this ectoplasm or do we probably take out the fungal batteries? So we'll just Iron Swan. Yeah, because then we can Duelist Advance. Ah, oh, no kill. Really unfortunate there. Oh, but he'll back hit it. Yes. Nice. Repost. Excellent. Um, so here, I guess we're just going to... Hmm. No. I was going to say, if we Sniper's Mark on the Ectoplasm, but... It's better to just uh, start working on this Fungal Artillery. Get those two taken out, then focus on the big guy. Cytokinesis. Oh no! He's making more Ectoplasm! Yo, Snake Eye's doing work with that Repost. I love it, so... Um, so let's open Vein. It has really, really high bleed resist. But I want to do the same thing I did before, where we kill the one in rank 1, bringing the ectoplasm forward. Unfortunate. Cytokinesis. Does that make another? Oh, God. Oh, we just got owned. Now that's a crit if I've ever seen one. Alright, so... I guess we just start fighting, and I guess we'll work on the uh, Divine Comfort. Now that we know this fight's going to go a little bit longer, we'll do full party heals. Wicked Hack. I think we just one-shot that. Nice. Um... Okay, so I'm thinking, what are the odds that Eliza gets crit again? Or is it better for me to just, um... Judgment this quivering ectoplasm. Get that damage out of the way, right? It's almost like I'm healing somebody for 12. So in the meantime, uh... We're gonna point blank shot. That way, Athena has access to, um, her abilities. We'll snipers mark this fat ass. Because he has extra prot, so... Our attacks aren't going to do as much. We're going to try to get bleed on him. Because that's like our... Ooh. Ah, uh, damn. Duelist Advance didn't work. But um, Pistol Shot will help us a little bit. Oh, God. We, like, do no damage. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pit. I guess, I guess the trick to beating... Look, it has, like, super high bleed and blight resist. So, you just have to... Whale on him. We're just going to do damage because the bleed relying on that isn't really going to help us out. Oh my god, that stuns. That's really rough. Um, yeah, so I guess we just... We're just going to keep healing. Nice. Still marked for another round. So sniper shot does kill. Ooh, quick draw charm. Plus 8 speed, plus 5% crit on the first round. Then minus 3 speed after first round. Um, I think we can give that to Eliza. No, no, she's got the books. Hmm. Does it matter? Minus 3 speed. That's... Hmm. We could give that to Snake Eyes. He's already the fastest, though. Hmm. If we give the quick quick draw charm to Athena, then... Well, no, she's already full up on trinkets. Eh, doesn't really help us, I guess. Well, we could give it to Snake Eyes, because it just gives him extra crit and speed on the first round. And because he's so fast, even with the downside of the quick draw charm, he's still pretty much going first, right? So... And it opens up a slot for treasure. So he's so fast, I think it just gets rid of the downside. Again, shame that we don't have skeleton keys. Because I uh, was trying to save money, but we're getting hella punished for it. Now we get to scout the hag. Ugh, damn. We gotta uh, survive a couple more fights. How many torches we got? Three? We're doing good. We're doing good. First things first. Duels advance. We'll probably break through. Oh no. No crit. That's good. 
Man, that repost does so much damage. Thank you for resisting that bleed. Darn. Okay, so we're just going to Divine Comfort. It's important to get this uh, this healing up to make it so that we're in a, you know, somewhat of a good position while we knock out these last few fights. Now, this is a guaranteed kill, but I think I want to try to go for the high roll. Does it matter? Yeah. Damn. We don't outspeed either. The punish for not taking the guaranteed kill. Trying to get the high roll. Now my healer's getting crit twice. And is bleeding. And we miss. Oh, please. Decimated. Who goes next? Okay, Velka goes. Um, we can actually get um, a heal off because then Athena goes. Damn. So the bleed is uh, definitely an issue. They can be beaten. Oh god, four damage over four rounds? Yeah, so you use the bandage. Really lucky we found that. And you gotta disarm that for us, bud. Whew. Alright, so another curio, just a box. An empty room, then two more battles. Portraits we need. So we are going to throw away... What sells for more, the Jade or the Defender's Seal? There is a chance that the Jade will stack on itself, though. Ah, screw it. We're going to throw the Holy Water. Got two more uh, torches. So we can torch here for this fight. Torch before we go into this last room and then camp in this room and head to the Hag. Um, the problem is, is we have to kind of go with our gut that she's in this bottommost room. Go for that 50-50. Because if we have to backtrack over two hallways, then we are seriously, like, going to get screwed over. And we only scouted to here, technically. We didn't scout down here. So there could be another obstacle there, right? And I don't want to be the dick that throws away the shovel and gets punished for it super hard. So we're going to throw the jade, I guess. Because we do need deeds. This is, honestly, we are finding a lot of treasure, but we are getting a lot of work done in terms of finding deeds, which is really going to help us out in the long run. So, I think it's better to just, what has the higher uh, damage potential? 7 to 12, 8, 7 to 13. Yeah, so we can just duelist advance. With and if for some reason the spider outspeeds, um, then we just get... Uh, See, Divine Grace. We're going to Divine Grace. Get a single target heal. Okay, cool. We outspeed. Oh, no. We miss. Oh, strike back. Yes. More deeds. Yes, we are. We're raking it in, honestly. We'll use our last torch before we go into this fight. Just to get a little bit more light. And... Now that I'm thinking about it, since uh, Snake Eyes is going to go first, probably better to just go in. He'll get point blank shot off on something right at the start of the fight. Yep, quick draw charm. Boom. Get that going. Wow, it knocked him back too? Sick. When did they add that functionality? I don't remember it doing that. But at any rate, um, probably better to just party heal get these two up to a decent hp oh damn we got a crit for the slightest lapse in concentration okay so we can wicked hack we'll try to high roll this guy i think yeah he only did 10 terrible shame that's a bleed right okay minus bleed resist Hmm. So I think we can... I think we're going to bandage here. Because Snake Eyes is pretty squishy. Oh, no crit. Thank you. That is a bleed, though. Really problematic. Uh. Alright. So... Crit. Thank you. 
All right, we're making up a lot of uh, lost ground there. We're gonna duelist advance to kill the uh, cutthroat. Excellent. All right, so then we sniper shot. Beautiful. Ooh, he gets to repost this, do a little bit of damage. Getting, honestly, getting the duelist advance up and running is so good for us. Um, yeah, so we'll just pop him. And we gotta worry about this fatty in the background. Uh, so... I think it's better to just single target heal in this situation. Yeah, we'll just heal. Sedated. And Athena can't do much here, so we're just going to take the corpses out, bring him forward. Alright, so we actually need to heal Eliza. I've been, like, focusing on healing everybody else besides her. And Velka is actually getting really stressed out because all those crits. So that could spell trouble during the boss fight. She can bandage herself. That's good. What we're trying to do is end this fight. We're trying to end this fight with just a decent amount of HP. Alright, some medicinal herbs, onyx. Um. Ah, eh, screw it, we'll just use that. Um. I think the Defender Seal sells for more. I can't remember. I think common trinkets only sell for like a couple hundred. So, we threw away the holy water, so the Eldritch Altar, unfortunately, isn't going to help us here. So, we're just going to camp. Alright, so we feast. There we go, to have, like, some decent HP recovery. Um, we've also got wound care, which is nice. Hmm. Alright, so, clean guns gives extra damage and accuracy to range skills, which includes point blank shot and pistol shot. So, we're gonna go for that. We can also wound care on, uh, Velka, which is really nice. I think I might want a bandit sense, just because so much is riding on us going into this boss fight healthy. Maybe I skip out on restring crossbow. Can I do both? Bandit sense costs four, restring crossbow costs three. This gives extra accuracy, damage, and crit. Oh, I should have. I forgot about triage. Instead of wound care, if I'd done triage, I'd have enough to do restring crossbow. Damn. And so I can't do that. And I think we're just gonna have to gamble on the uh, on the ambush. We're gonna go for triage, heal everybody up, restring crossbow, and that will be that. <sighs> I can feel my heart; it pumps strong. Let's go! Ah, the ambush! Did we get shuffled? Oh, slavering ghoul! This isn't that bad. Because we can uh, we can move forward, duelist advance. Um, probably better to kill the cultist enchantress though. Nice crit. That doesn't one shot one uh, one HP off. Rend, is that a bleed? Oh fuck! Oh my god. Okay, so what we're going to do here is judgment. Just get her out of the way. Alright, so we're going to do If It Bleeds. Ah! Oh, crikey. We'll move back. She can't do anything in the front row. Only with blind fire. Horror. That's the uh, stress damage over time. Status effect that they added. So we're just going to Divine Grace on Athena. Make up for that crit. We should be good now that we're sort of uh, in position as it were. Um, so what I'm going to do is just re-duelist advance so I can set up a point-blank shot for next turn. Um, 
we can also battlefield bandage on Athena. Because we need to ha I like having this off healer. Because we can we're trying to make up ground on that hit to go into the boss fight as we just beat the ever loving crap out of this ghoul. Now I remember that he has a stun. We just need one more hit. Oh my god, thank you for outspeeding. No! I clicked Ugh! The horror proc. Ugh, Jesus. Oh my god. Ugh, the horror proc threw off my click. Jesus. So I have to kill the ghoul. Oh my god, we can't even... So... We have to not get a hunger roll going into that, uh, the boss fight here. Please be down here, hag. Please. Damn! Are you serious? I don't think we can make it, fam. That's the horror thing again. The worries. Plus 30% stress? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is getting really dire. Um, so I think in this fight we actually break through. To just clear these maggots. No, it doesn't do enough damage. So we're just gonna wicked hack to kill one. Better not to debuff ourselves when we're going into the boss fight. Um, then we'll sniper shot. No, 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 no. We'll, uh, battlefield bandage. Crit. Very nice. And that increases healing received. He'll strike back. Thank you. Okay, so this ghoul, I think we can just DPS the hell out of him before he, uh, does too much nonsense to us. <sighs> Thank you. Low roll on the rend. Damn ghoul. Beat him up. All right, excellent. So we get to Divine Grace. Oh, <sighs> okay. So we are gonna head into this uh, this boss fight. This boss fight pretty healthy after all. We need to make room for these. So gold we throw for crests, emeralds, shovel. Um, I think we can toss. We'll throw the onyx. Because I'm really not sure. Velka's resolve is tested. Selfish! Give me your jewels and I'll absolve you of idolatry. We're doing this boss fight, though. This is going to be rough. But we're going to take on the hag. Oh my god. So, first things first. Get the repost going. The light alone commands me. None else have the right. So what's that mean? Oh, she just acts on her own. Hits the pot. Yeah, put our healer in the pot. She's she's not really useful. But now we do have to um, knock over the cauldron, or else it does like really crazy burst damage. Strike the pot. Strike the pot. Mm-hmm. One HP. Oh my god. I don't want to be eaten. Season to perfection. <laughs> They're seasoning on her! <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Taste the stew. Oh man. Oh, she healed! Jesus. This is, uh, this not bode well. So anyway. I'm gonna hit the pot. Puts her in the front row, unfortunately. She took a lot of damage from that. Alright, so we're gonna uh, Duelist Advance again. We need to get our party shuffled around so that we can like open vein and whatnot. But she actually is pretty squishy. Oh man. Does he strike back before he gets in the pot? Damn. No, the time is not yet right. Passes her turn! Okay, fine. If that's the way you want it. 
hopefully we can break open this pot. I think we have a good chance of it. Let me kill it. Its soul must perish by my hand. Season to perfection. Ah, oh, please, Eliza. Resist the spices. I know you're delicious, but... Thank you. Get him out of the pot. Only did a little bit of damage. Ooh, they did a lot of damage. Oh my god. Would you look at this? We actually get the heal. Oh no, now Eliza's in the pot. This is the problem. You spend the entire fight getting your, your comrades out of the pot. Point blank shot. That's pretty good. So Eliza being in rank 1 is a problem. Because of because uh, we don't have blind fire equipped. Um... Breakthrough is a minus tw is a 20 damage debuff, so I'm just gonna move forward naturally because if Snake Eyes is in the back, then we just get to use like pistol shot and everything. Damn it! I don't think we're gonna have the the positioning to to hit the cauldron now. That I'm looking at this. Yeah, she's got to move back. Crikey. Surely the light has grander plans for me. Move back. Snake Eyes is at death's door! Resist it! Whoo, boy! Let's go. Now our party is actually... In a decent spot. We just need to... I think we can get a rotation of damage off here. Resist it! Yes! Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Okay. Then we'll do if it bleeds to get some damage. We're almost there. We've, we've got to go in for damage here. I don't think we can get... I don't think we- Oh, she still heals even though we dodged it? Oh my god. Yeah, I think- I think we need to go in for damage here. Judgment does some damage, heals Velka off of Death's Door. As life ebbs. Eliza the Cruel is also at Death's Door now. Oh my god, this is gonna be rough. Um, Duelist Advance. Pistol Shot. Yes! I was hoping for a crit! One more hit! One more hit! Yes! Oh my god! <sighs> Let's make room for all this- Oh my god. That was- You guys gotta check the tapes. If you go back and watch all of the boss fights so far in that series, I think that this is probably my most clutch victory. Holy crap, I'm shaking. Uh, so, we gotta make room for this treasure. Blueprint, we need that. Um, we get to sell these for cash. But we already have money, so I think we... Th Do we have room for these trinkets? Or did we fully pack everybody up? No, okay, so we can make room for... One of these trinkets. No, no, we want the, uh... We want the, uh, uncommon charm. Plus 15% to healing skills is actually pretty good. So, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, Snake Eyes withstanding on the death's door. Look at all these deeds, though. Oh. <sighs> I'm so glad that you guys are here to see this. This is the best part about Darkest Dungeon. All of my crazy failures and clutch wins are all documented. Oh my god. So we got 24, we found 24 deeds, and we get 8 more. Oh my god. So, Mold Explorer, that's pretty good. Eliza the Cruel has the worries, plus 30% stress, so we have to cure that. Ooh. So this is the new hero they added in the DLC. The Flagellant. Cove Explorer, Quick Draw, Weak Grip. Minus crit is, eh, whatever. 
But at any rate, we definitely want to make room for him. So we'll sort by, and starts out at level zero. Uh, so we'll cut somebody from the bottom of the roster here. Um, we do want a second. Man. We have two Hound Masters already. We have Megix and Rocco. So we're going to cut this Hound Master. And we'll add the Flagellant. Flagellant, pardon me, to the uh, to the roster. Oh my god. <laughs> Megus got syphilis in the brothel. Damn it. Oh my god. So I have to I have to sort through my roster here. Some people need um, disease treatment, some people need stress treatment. We gotta figure out what mission we're gonna go on next. And I gotta, you know, gather my thoughts. But thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next time. You have a good one.